Hey YouTube, this is Zach with Achilles Financial and we are back with a super important topic if you are a investor, in particular a dividend investor, which is the ex-dividend date. So a hot stock at the moment is Pfizer, ticker symbol up in the right hand corner, PFE. And if you are using Robinhood, oftentimes you can be swayed to look at a stock based off of this beautiful dividend yield that you see down here in the bottom right hand corner. I do want to highlight that this dividend yield, and I have talked about this in other videos, this dividend yield is created by looking at the stock and saying what is the dividend as of a point in time. Robinhood is not actively updating the dividend, so if you want to see that dividend, you are going to have to go and get that price and see the expected dividend elsewhere. And that's kind of one of the things I want to talk about today, is there is a huge value to dividend investing. And if you are going to do it properly or if you are going to apply some level of speculative trading based off of it, then you need to recognize that the dividend yield here is not necessarily always accurate, as well as that you need to go and do your research as to the amount that they are going to expect to pay going forward. The reason that I highlight this is because there has been a lot of changes in dividends for a lot of companies over the course of the past two quarters and going forward, you need to make sure that you are a well-informed investor and just by a simple set of Googling, you are going to make yourself a lot more better equipped to make proper investing decisions, particularly if you're going in this for a long-term investment. So with Pfizer, I do own a number of Pfizer shares and the reason that I like this stock, again, they had a lot of involvement in the coronavirus research and they are looking at some vaccine capabilities as well as just long term they have always been a large component of the dow in terms of the biomedical biopharmaceutical world as well as they have some capability for appreciation as we saw in the latter part of last year first part of this year but the big thing is they just have a solid dividend and you can see that even though this isn't totally accurate it is still around 32 cents a share so they continue to do very well and this is paid out quarterly so if i know that pfizer has a good dividend i like their prospects and i want to know at what point do i need to be making sure that my investment is there before i get anything back what am i going to be looking at and the key there is going to be the x dividend date and as you can see here on my screen again i'm just looking at investopedia the ex-dividend date is the ex-dividend describes a stock that is trading without the value of the next dividend payment. So when a dividend is paid, that is subtracted from the stock price because they are giving it back and they are saying, at this point in time, we are going to make this change and that is when you need to be owning the stock. So you need to make sure that you own the stock prior to the ex-dividend date. So how can I find this out? I am simply going to use my TD Ameritrade account, which again is free to create. Or you can just Google when it is the stock going to have their next X dividend. As you can see, I have selected July 30th. If I were to click on the actual stock, then as you can see that we can actually look here and utilize these reports as well for when they are going to be having their X dividend. We've got the information here. You can see X dividend historically as well as expectation going forward. The two important numbers, again, X dividend date as well as the pay date. So if you own the stock here, you are going to get paid on this date in this point in time. So with that being said, when we're making these assumptions, when we're looking at this, I'm just trying to make sure that we are saying what is the expectation going forward. And just by selecting on this, I can see when these stocks are going to be issuing their dividend. And that is in comparison to Robinhood, which we, again, just don't have the capability to view that at this point in time. However, we may have the capability to do so in the future. So this is a stock that I like. It does have a good dividend, but there's a lot of different stocks that we need to be looking at from a dividend perspective. When you get paid that dividend, it is going to show up as cash in your account and you will see that represented here in buying power. However, I do recommend that you turn on the dividend reinvestment program or DRIP so that you can watch those dividends just roll into the stock and you can continue to get larger and larger dividend payments. So this is just a function of Robinhood that is not necessarily up to par with the broader investing community. 
I would continue to find some other resources to make sure that when you're making these deals or when you are actively investing in stocks for their dividend that you you are doing so at the best point in time so with that being said if you have some dividend stocks that you would recommend i check out please drop those in the comments below and if you found this content helpful please leave a like and subscribe thanks everyone talk to you later